get started. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the press conference. We are joined by Team Heretics, Benji Fishy, and sorry, Benji Fishy and Patty Tech. Um, so we're going to start with a few questions from the uh, pre-submitted. Question goes to Benji Fishy and Patty Tech. How is practice feeling with Patty Tech coming into the first game? Uh, I mean, we haven't really had much time to practice um, because Ryan's and Woot haven't had their visas. They only arrived yesterday. And from then, we haven't, you know, we've been on a break um, since Grand Finals. So we haven't really had too much time to adjust. But I feel pretty confident considering we've played with Patty before. Um, we know his play style. We know how he plays. Um, he's going to be on a role that he's comfortable with. So, um, yeah, um, we should be fine. Thank you very much. Next question goes to either of you. Many people view your next opponent, DRG, as the worst team in this event. What is your evaluation of their strength? Mm, I wouldn't call them the worst team. I wouldn't call anyone a worst team because it's the Valorant Masters tournament. Uh, it's like one of the best teams in the world. So I, would, uh, I wouldn't call anyone a worst team. Um, and when it comes to our evalu uh, evaluation, to them, um, we think they are a strong team, and we're just gonna play our game, and that's it. We we are not looking uh, into them that much. I think we are just gonna focus on ourselves, and that's it. Thank you. Next question also goes to either of you. Uh, do you think that being in the Swiss stage has benefits for you to get repetitions together as a team for the playoff stage? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think, you know, just getting practice in, you know, especially with Patty, um, is quite important for us. Um, I do like this format and yeah, I think it's, we're only going to get better throughout the tournament. Um, I think, you know, the teams that have gone straight to playoffs, you know, they've got an advantage, but I feel like you also get a, an advantage just from getting momentum, um, during the group stage. So I think there's, you know, there's advantages to both sides. Obviously you can still get knocked out of group stage, but if you are able to get through, and you're able to gain confidence on like playing on stage and stuff compared to the teams that would have never played on stage before, like at this tournament. Um, I think it's it's quite good. So yeah, I think it's also a matter that um, we are a team that's gonna play more games than the ones that in playoffs. So we're gonna be more warmed up than them. So when it comes to when it's gonna come to the play, like when we're gonna play the playoffs team, I feel like the teams that are gonna come from the first stage are going to have advantage because they will be just more warmed up. Thank you very much. We're going to now move to remote media questions. First question from Nerditude. Thank you so much. My question is for Benji. Um, do you think you have any kind of disadvantage to the abrupt player change? And I would like to give all my support and good vibes to Patitek for coming to support the team. Thank you. Wait, sorry, can you repeat the first part? Uh, do I, do we okay. have any sort of what? Okay, do, do you think do you have any kind of disadvantage? This, this advantage disadvantage? To, okay. to the abrupt player change? Okay, uh, yeah, I think, um, you know, it's it's obviously harder than if we would have to play a mini boot because, you know, we've been playing for mini boot with like for a long time now. Um, I've got used to how we play, but I think Patty coming in is like the best solution we ever could have had just because we've played one before. Um, we played scrims with him for a long time. Obviously, played kickoff. Uh, we and before kickoff, we scrimmed with him for a while. And then Masters Madrid, like all of that experience, I think it will come super useful here. Um, so you know, maybe there's a small disadvantage. Um, but I think yeah, we've done the best that we can. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take the next question from Onsite Media. Hello, boys. Uh, I have a couple of questions. Uh, first of all, you, you're about to play on the patch where Viper has finally uh, had gone through some pretty drastic changes. You have four Viper players on your team. Paddy, you also play Viper as well. How has this impacted your preparation or has it made it a little bit easier given that you don't have Mibu here? So maybe you can just sack off the Viper, maybe? Um, you know, I, I think we've taken into account, I think, you know, 
we'll take it into account, but I still think Viper's playable. Um, I don't think there is a big change, but Viper's still going to be a good agent, especially on like, I don't know, maps like Split, where you kind of need Viper for mid on defense, like stuff like that. Um, I think it's still important, but I, I think it will just change, you know, the way that Viper's played in the game. I think, yeah, she'll still get picked and still get used during this tournament quite a lot, but um, yeah, I think we're, we're just going to find different ways to, you know, use Viper, basically. I mean, in terms of that, Paddy's like, like I said, you also play Viper. You got three other players on the team that can, including yourself, Benji, that can also play Viper. So, in terms of uh, pre prepping for these changes, are you all learning lineups? Because obviously, with the orb and also the spits, are you all kind of having to learn the timings at the same time, or has it been delegated to just maybe one or two players at this point? Mm, I mean, I got my all lineups from Mr. Boo. So, shout out to Mr. Boo. Uh, but um, I'm actually super happy about uh, the Viper nerf because uh, I'm not a Viper uh, player. And uh, for me, mm, playing Viper wasn't uh, the best role. I could have imagined to play, uh, but when it comes to playing like in a team environment, I feel like we're gonna find solutions to maybe play with Viper or maybe we're gonna come up with something new, maybe Harbor, maybe Astra, maybe something. We will see. And as an extension of that, who's gonna be on the duelist? Uh, that's what, yeah, we will be playing duelist for this event. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next question comes from Pedro. Yes, hello. Hello. Uh well hello. Hello. First first off, um, welcome back to, to the to the Masters. Good to see you guys again after a few months of duking it out with the rest of the competition at EMEA. And talking about that, one of the one, one of the talking points that kind of has been ongoing throughout this season is this fatigue. And how for certain teams that have been able to compete in, let's say, Masters Madrid, uh, they have not been able to maintain that form just because of the uh, of the uh, of the fast paced schedule and just having to play many games week by week, week by week, and just going that from regular season to to playoffs. Um, as one of the teams that have been able to continue your top form from Masters Madrid to now, how have you guys been able to just keep? The, the the train rolling and just continue to play at, at a good level while also sorting off any kind of fatigue that might have settled in. And um, I can answer it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, I'll start. I think. Yeah. Like, it is incredibly hard to keep good form when you're playing these tournaments. I mean, if you look at Sentinels, like, I mean, they they went from the highest of highs to not qualifying. Like, it's it's really hard, and it, it's been super hard for us as well. Um, keeping the same form, like all of us, you know, we were really exhausted. I think that's kind of also why we took this break after the grand finals against Fnatic. Um, like we didn't have as much practice for this event. Um, but to be honest, like after the grand finals against Fnatic, we kind of decided, like, I mean, we had the decision where whether we wanted to, you know, practice or if we, you know, if we would take a break. And I think right now, like a break was super important for us um just because of how busy you know all the games are how busy everyone's schedule is um you know flying traveling everything is is super hard um but i think we've been able to um keep good form just by you know i think it's having a good team environment um i think that helps a lot and also taking you know small breaks when you need it um i think that's been quite big for us so yeah yeah i think that's it Thank you. Next question from Sons of KS. Hi, Juan. Nice to meet you. Hi, Patty. Hi, Benji. Hello. Hello. My question is for Patty Deck. How has the preparation been with the road change for good? And how do you feel, Patty, about returning? Um, I mean, I feel uh, super excited to come back uh, and play Master Little Boys again. Um, when it comes the when it comes to the preparation, uh, we didn't really had that much of, of time to prepare because, as Benji just said, um, the boys were just exhausted after uh, the second the, the first stage and the playoffs, which I'm not surprised at all. Like uh, to be able to keep up and play so many best of threes and then a best of five at the end is must be super exhausted, must be, must be super exhausting. Um, but when it comes to the role change, because you, I think you asked about the role change as well. Um, Wood is going to play Duelist, and I'm just going to play on, on my designated role. So, yeah. Thank you for that word, and nice. Good luck in the tournament. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Next question from Sky. Oh, hi, this is Sky. Um, you guys arrived yesterday and I know that time is tight, but how's Shanghai so far? And did you guys get a chance to walk around a hotel? Man, Shanghai is insane. Like actually beautiful city. It's so cool, man. Like literally the yeah. first the first night we, we came here. Uh like we I think we arrived like seven o'clock or something, and it was like dark and like all the buildings were like lit up. Oh my god, it is so cool. And the hotel, it's the hotel we're staying at, oh it's nuts. It is nuts. It feels like we're like royalty. Yeah, legit. It's so cool, man. Uh but yeah, I love Shanghai. Um it's super pretty. The food is very good. Um so yeah, I, I'm I'm in love with the city at the moment. Nothing to to like compare about. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. Thank you for the question. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy Shanghai more. Yeah, thank you for answering. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll take the final question from Ghost to Gamers. Hello, guys. Nice to meet you. Um, I want to Hello. ask Hello. which team, which team do you find most challenging to face and why? Thank you. Um, I mean. I can answer, I guess. Yeah. I think uh, the toughest team that I think we've had to play against was it was probably Paper X between Paper X and Foot. I think both of those teams, um, you know, Paper X during Master Madrid was, you know, that was very difficult. I think all of them, like their play style, I mean, everybody knows about their play style. Like it is very hard to play against and they're all very mechanical players. Um, we know what to expect now, but they're still, you know, it's very hard to play against them. And foot was also like really hard during stage one. Um, I think it's, you know, well deserved that they're here now because I mean, they're a really good team. Um, like their players are very good. I think, you know, they, they don't give up, you know, like it doesn't matter how many rounds are down or if, you know, it's like a two V five or whatever, like their, their team play, their mechanic, like their mechanics is, is really, really good. So I, I think they'll do really good at this tournament. And same with Paper X. All right. Thank you, guys. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was the final question and the conclusion of our press conference with Benji Fishy and Paddy Tech. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Thank you. Thank you for having us.